Now that you have defined various state sets, you need to output all that information to disk. In the state sets floater, make sure the render outputs tab is selected. Here you can define an output path to replace the default one on the C drive. If a default path is not present, close the render output panel and reopen a new one from the states menu. Click the browse button and choose a target folder on your system. In this movie, I chose to render to a portable drive, F on this system, under a folder simply named Renders. Notice the token defined by the curly brackets. This ensures the output renders have a prefix based on the state sets names. In fact, it is often a good idea to separate renders in subfolders as well, so that each state set renders to its own subfolder. Simply add a state name token as subfolder to your output drive. This way, inside of the main renders folder, subfolders named after each state set will be created. This is the significance of the first state name token. Under each of these subfolders, output files will be created. Their names will also carry a prefix based on the state name, which is the significance of the second state name token. In addition to the default underscore output suffix, sequential numbers will be added based on the rendered frames. In fact, you may find the underscore output label a bit redundant and simply make do without it. Sequential numbers will still be added. Finally, you can choose your render output file type or simply accept the Targa image file format. If you need to adjust the TGA options, simply call up the virtual frame buffer and save a temporary image to disk. Specify a name with the .tga extension. As you press enter, adjust the TGA options to ensure that they are set to 32-bit to preserve alpha information. You can delete the temporary image file you just saved to disk. This TGA setup remains active until you change it again. When you're done, Click on Set Path to create the output folders. You are now ready to render your scene out. Be aware that this process will take an hour or two based on the computer speed and the output resolution you specified. On the system used to record these movies, it takes a little less than an hour to record all states at a 960 by 540 resolution. In Full HD, it will take longer. When you are ready to proceed, choose States render all states. Go grab lunch or dinner and come back later when the rendering is done and you're ready to proceed with the next movie. In the next movie, you take a look at your composition inside of 3ds Max prior to exporting it to Adobe After Effects.